clowns were once thought to be very cute. Children on television were made happy by Bozo the Clown and Howdy Doody's Clarabelle. When Ronald McDonald arrived, everything fell apart. Okay, well, not exactly. But along the road, clowns evolved from being a source of delight to, according to some experts, 1 in 10 adults now suffer from cholerophobia, or a fear of clowns. And chances are excellent that one of these homicidal homie D clowns or the wicked clown doll from Poltergeist is to blame. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be sharing the scariest killer clowns today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do so by clicking here. Even if you think clowns have gotten a terrible rap over the years, there's no doubting that Hollywood has given audiences plenty of reasons to be terrified of the red-nosed, floppy-shoed performers. Movie and television clowns have served as nightmare fuel, ranging from monstrous supernatural entities like Pennywise to twisted, all-too-human killers with a penchant for colorful makeup. Twisty the Clown, American Horror Story Freak Show 2014 As Twisty the Clown, a slow but kind clown at a freak show who was the target of a cruel tale propagated by the carnival freaks, John Carroll Lynch is terrifying. From there, things only worsen since his mother passed away when he gets home. He is helpless and unable to kill himself because the shotgun in his mouth only mutilates his bottom jaw. As a result, he loses control and goes on a murdering spree, picking off mean parents and stealing their kids to use as props. Twisty is most recognizable for the gloomy, frightful mask that covers the bottom half of his face, a macabre grin that conceals a monster. The Clown, or The Violator, Spawn, 1997 A literal clown from hell. After being killed by his previous employer, the clown, played by John Leguizamo, Spawn, Michael J. White, takes on the mentor role. He is a short, obese, greedy, and careless clown, primarily used in the movie for laughs, until he isn't. When his attempts to end the world fail, he changes into the Violator, a vast, scaly monster that is hell-bent, no pun intended, on destroying Spawn. Kent McCoy, Clown, 2014 Sadly, Jack McCoy, played by Christian DiStefano, is at his birthday party, and the clown hired for the event was cancelled at the last minute. What's a father to do? After discovering a clown outfit in a house he's selling, Kent McCoy, played by Andy Powers, takes the stage and amuses the visitors. The problem is, it won't take off any longer, and it is constructed from the hair and skin of an Icelandic demon. Now that Kent wants children, he eats a few at the neighborhood Chuck E. Cheese. Captain Spaulding, House of a Thousand Corpses, 2003 The first of Rob Zombie's three Firefly movies, House of a Thousand Corpses, features Captain Spaulding for the first time. He owns a fried chicken joint and petrol station in Texas, and wears a clown costume. Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, a haunted house attraction, is also located on the property. It has a ride-through exhibit with jarred fetuses and images of serial killers. Oddly, those photographs don't contain him, yet he even fulfills the criteria. Killer Clowns Killer Clowns from Outer Space, 1988 The name says it all. Bloated circus clown-like aliens, known as clowns, crash land on Earth, erect a gigantic circus tent, and attack the local population. A living balloon dog, cotton candy cocoons, bazookas that shoot popcorn, shadow puppets, and straw used to drink the blood out of the townspeople are just a few of the bizarre items the clowns use in the film, which are utterly ludicrous in the best manner possible. A real cult favorite. Richard Stitches Grindle, Stitches, 2012. In the darkly humorous horror movie, Stitches, Having a killer party is taken literally. At young Tom's birthday party, Richard Grindle, aka Stitches the Clown, accidentally slashes his eye open with a sharp knife, resulting in his death. Six years later, Stitches is resurrected by a black magic clown cult, 
and seeks vengeance on the other guests from that fatal party, including a now teenage Tom. That stitches, what a cut up. Wrinkles the Clown Wrinkles the Clown, 2019 Please follow along, this one is kind of difficult. A documentary slash comedy slash horror movie that almost defies categorization at all is Wrinkles the Clown. In 2015, a video uploaded to YouTube that shows a terrifying clown named Wrinkles emerging from beneath a little girl's bed and scaring the living daylights out of her became viral. More videos surfaced, revealing shortly after that Wrinkles is a professional clown out of Florida, with his shtick being available for rent to terrify children straight. In 2019, when the documentary catches up with him, he permits the crew to follow him. It turns out that he is an elderly homeless man who poses as wrinkles to get money. Interviews with psychologists, historians, children from the videos, and others are intercut with shots of wrinkles. Art the Clown All Hallows' Eve, 2013 Three movies use Art the Clown as their primary enemy, appearing in All Hallows' Eve with Mike Gianelli, Terrifier from 2017, and Terrifier 2 by David Howard Thornton. Art, a demonic killer clown with a black trash bag full of weapons, appears on Halloween nights, dressed in a black and white theme. The unrelenting and cruel mime takes excellent pleasure in methodically torturing and dismembering his victims. Alternatively, he may release them and let them live with the horror they witnessed. The Heads, 31, 2016 Rob Zombie struggles with clowns. In the film 31, director Zombie follows a group of five carnival employees who are abducted and made to participate in the game 31, through which they must endure a 12-hour hunt by homicidal clowns known as the Heads, while surviving in a maze of rooms. Pancho Moller's Sick Head, Lou Temple's Psycho Head, David Yuri's Schizo Head, including Daly's Sex Head and Death Head. Pennywise, It, 1990. Tim Curry's Pennywise first appeared in the Nightmares of a Generation in the two-part miniseries adaptation of Stephen King's book of the same name. The seven members of the Losers Club decide to stop Pennywise, a shape-shifting demon that preys on children's fears before killing them, from terrorizing Derry, Maine, first as young children in 1960 and again in 1990 when he reappears. Curry completely immerses himself in the role, which has the appearance of an ordinary, colorful clown. It benefits him because he can switch between being fun and downright menacing, the character's ideal representation for many. Pennywise, It, 2017 The plot is pretty much the same, but Bill Skarsgård's 2017 Pennywise is radically different from the Pennywise of 1990. His face is pure white. His lips are a stunning red color that extends to a spooky grin, and his hair is a shock of orange. His appearance is different, a suit combining clown costumes from various centuries. Skarsgård also takes a different approach, emphasizing the demon's terrifying characteristics rather than its clownish side. However, it's pretty damn effective, especially when Skarsgård pulls his peculiar lazy eye move. The difference between the two might be best described as follows. Curry was frightful, while Skarsgård is unsettling. And that's all for this video. We will be back soon with another interesting video just for you. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you all very soon.